Travis Maximus here, this time with a performance tool uh, automotive battery analyzer. So this thing wasn't too expensive. Come on now. I got on sale for 30 bucks. Why won't that cut? Come on now. There we go. These are a neat little tool just to help give you a general idea if the battery really is dead or is on its way out or not. They do have a little instruction booklet, something they don't tell you, but I think is actually interesting features. You can adjust the brightness of the display. And it's nice that it actually comes with a little manual. Uh, Performance Tool is actually pretty good about providing instructions with their various tools. And then here's their advertising on the back. And so what this does is it has transistors in it, it takes the voltage, then it does momentary load testing uh, in order to determine, based on essentially voltage drop, to determine uh, the battery health or the battery, the remaining essentially capacity of the battery, as well as determining how many amps it can deliver. So they advertise this as being compatible up to 1200 cold cranking amps, and they actually do have a SAE 40 designation for their uh, the standards that they're basing it off of. It is a pretty small little unit. We do have a little booger right there from the uh, wire, two boogers from the wire molding process. So you'll notice that there are two or a pair of wires in this thing. The wires are a little short. They could have made them a little bit longer. The reason they do that is since one of the things they also measure is the resistance of the battery. One set of wires is for the load and the other set of wires is a dedicated parallel set so it can get uh, very high resolution or very high detail uh, resistance measurements. And we can see a copper alloy, so I do appreciate that. And one thing that is interesting to note is that resistance measurement. Oh, wow, that thing just kind of slides right on off of there. I would have liked that to have uh, been a little better attached. Well, moving on, one of the wires attaches to these uh, the main jaw, which is, of course, conductive through a copper pin, which is nice. The second one is on this little jaw here, and if you can just see... There we go. You can see that there's a plastic wire which insulates that, and this is the one that's doing the resistance measurements, but it's in uh, thousands of an ohm or milliohms, so it needs to be very, very sensitive. Besides that, what we have here is a additional set of instructions on the back, just a plastic silk screen sticker, so I don't know how well that's going to hold up. Obviously, it would have been nicer if they actually would have molded the instructions uh, into the plastic mold so it's much more durable or maybe use a more durable sticker um, but I suppose that's okay because they do have it's pretty much walks you through the process just right through the screen actually let's go and uh, take a look at that all right here we are we've got some yucky old battery you'd want to connect the negative terminal first make sure that you get both the the jaws going there and then we've got a yucky positive terminal here. This also does charging system tests. I forgot to mention that. As soon as you connect it, it turns on here. I'm going to have to uh, adjust the brightness. There you go. Now you can see it. They got the label, this dark background. It's a little bit small. kind of cuts off the lettering. Anyway, you have a battery test, basic system test, which is the charging test, and then being able to adjust the display brightness. Do the battery test standard or advanced glass map. We'll just do it as standard here. The thing about these, it, it, what's interesting is a rating standard, but it only allows you to select SAE. So you have to have a general idea of what the cold cranking amps of the battery is. Just some general, whether it's like 600 or 800, just so it has an idea. In this case, this battery is warm. So we'll just, and it does have a label saying 640 amps. So we'll just go and hit. And this thing does work pretty fast. Just boom, that's because it's all digital. There's a roll up state of health that says 100%. So these aren't going to be the, uh, the most accurate. So anyway, after that we have a battery test and then we have a system test here. So if you enter that, it says turn off loads and start engine. So let me go and do that. So as soon as we did that, it tells us the cranking volts dropped down to 10.29, which is normal. And what other stuff does it tell us here uh, nothing I see it just oh I see that's actually a more advanced mode so it detects how bad the voltage drop is so if it drops very low then it knows that it's actually really low on capacity and oh I see we press enter 
for charging tests, make sure all loads are off, enter again. And the idle volts are 14.04, uh, anything else? Turn on loads, oh, interesting. All right, we've got uh, headlights are on here. Loads, it, so the voltage regulator and the current is still good. Test over, turn engines off and loads off. So anyway, you can see that it's actually, I have a Harbor Freight one and it's slow. Sometimes the buttons don't respond right. This thing actually does respond properly. It's a shame that they kind of put this over molding so it kind of blocks the letters a little bit. Pretty easy to read. I like the adjustable brightness and it's actually really fast and very simple. It really does just walk you through doing a, a basic battery test and then a charging test. I don't think the Harbor Freight does it, it may, but I like the fact that this actually measures the voltage drop during cranking, which is a, a much more uh, accurate way of evaluating the battery because you're putting a significant load on it. And if it's really low on capacity or one of those batteries that seems to be okay because the voltage comes up, but it really has a lot of sulfication in it, uh, that will show up as a very steep voltage drop. So even Tiny approves. Uh, I got this on sale for 30 bucks. I think they're normally 40 bucks, but for a simple little uh, charging system and battery analyzer, this one's actually not bad because it is small and it has a fast processor. It's actually just fast just to get it done. You can do the whole process in like a minute. So anyway, simple little review of the, uh, this performance tool, 12 volt battery tester and uh, bonus points. If you can guess the, uh, mark of the vehicle that i tested this on and double bonus points if you can uh tell me the model and triple bonus points for the generation anyway i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time caddis maximus out